So how are we going to open CorelDRAW? There are several ways on how are we going to open CorelDRAW. Whether that is Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, the easiest way to do that is to search for CorelDRAW. So let's say for example, I will be opening CorelDRAW by simply searching CorelDRAW. I click CorelDRAW Ops, then just wait for the CorelDRAW to open in your Windows environment. If you would like to continue using it and create a new file, just simply click New Blank Document. But if you would like to open an existing file, just simply click Open Other. But since I'm going to create a new file, just simply click New Blank Document. So that is how are you going to open CorelDRAW. To exit CorelDRAW, you can go or click the close button. You can also click the application icon, then click close. You can go to the file menu, then click exit. Exit is different from close. For when we use exit, the application program will disappear on your screen. But if you're just going to choose close, only the particular document will exit and not the entire application program. Or the easiest way to exit CorelDRAW, simply by pressing Alt F4. So that is how are you going to open and exit CorelDRAW. This time, I will be showing you on how are you going to set up the paper size, the margins, and the orientation in CorelDRAW. Actually, if you're going to use CorelDRAW X7, the dialog box will automatically prompt on your screen once you open CorelDRAW for you to change the paper size, the orientation, and the margins. But if you're going to use the lower version of CorelDRAW, you can always use the toolbar or the file menu to change the paper size, the orientation, and the margins. So let's say, for example, I will be opening again a CorelDRAW. So always search for CorelDRAW is the easiest way to open this particular application program. Let's say, for example, I was able to create now or click the new blank document. To change the orientation, you can go to the file menu, then click print setup. After that, click properties. This might took long between one to two minutes before the paper size orientation or dialog box appear on your screen. So just give CorelDRAW some time to display the dialog box in changing the orientation and the margins, also the paper size. Or if you want, you can click one of the tools in your toolbar to change the orientation. So we have here portrait, then we have landscape. See what happened to your screen or to your drawing area? Again, portrait, then landscape. If you would like to change the paper size, you can click this tool, see? So it will took you one to two minutes before the paper set up appears on your screen once you go to the file menu. Then, let's say for example, I would like use, or I would be using the long band paper. So the size of the long band paper is 8.5 by 13. So just simply change this one to 13, then press enter. Look what happened. The size of the drawing area changes as soon as you change as well the paper size. So that is how easy on how are you going to modify the orientation and the paper size. Hello everyone, for today's lesson I will be showing you on how are you going to utilize or use the different tools in CorelDRAW. First, you have to open CorelDRAW. As soon as you open CorelDRAW, you can now see the fluent or what we call the environment of CorelDRAW. We have there the title bar, the menu bar, the tool bar, wherein it provides quick access for frequently used command. We have the toolbox, the color palette, we have the docker, 
it displays different commands pertaining to the tools that you're going to use or utilize in your drawing. We have the scroll bar, the vertical one, and the horizontal one. We have the ruler, the status bar wherein you can see the page number you are currently working on. And the last one is what we call the drawing area. To utilize and use the different tools, first, you have to choose the tool that you would like to use. So let's say, for example, I would like to use the rectangular tool. Click the rectangular tool, drag and drop the mouse diagonally for you to be able to draw a rectangular shape. See? If you would like to draw a square, again, click the rectangular tool, Press and hold the shift key while dragging the mouse diagonally. See? If you're not going to press and hold the shift key instead of a square, you will be able to form a rectangle. To move that object from one place to another place, you can click the pick tool or the select tool. And choose the object that you would like to move. Again, to use the different tool, Choose the tool that you would like to use. Example, I would like to use an ellipse. Now, if you notice, in every tool, you will be able to see a drop-down button. That means that that is our fly-out. Wherein, if you're going to click that drop-down button, you will be able to see the sub-command or sub-menu in each tool. So again, draw an ellipse. Drag and drop the mouse diagonally to your drawing area. To draw a circle, you have to press and hold the shift key while dragging the mouse diagonally. See? Again, click the pick tool to move that from one place to another place. If you would like to draw a spiral, you can simply click the star button or the star tool, the drop down button for you to see the fly out menu, then click now, let's say, for example, spiral. Then drag and drop the mouse diagonal. Now, please be reminded that there is no square in circle in Corel Draw. What we only have is the rectangular shape and an ellipse shape. And for us to be able to draw a circle or a square, you have to press and hold the shift key while dragging the mouse diagonally. So that would be all. See you in our next video lesson. Bye everyone!